Hello YouTube, Tom here. I don't know what part of this is going to be or this is going to be its own video, but for the most part it's going back together right now. Driver's side heads on, torqued, and uh, two rocker arms over rocker arms over here, replaced the one back here and here. Um, I went and just replaced all the push rods because it was $4 for uh, a push rod, so why not? Um, this side's all torqued, the header's on, that, uh, pace setter header, which I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to make a video of just about the exhaust, so it's kind of two videos in one, but, um, it's going on, both sides are just mirrored, so, um, just go over some of the stuff I did, putting that side together, now, the new heads, I'm doing my own little port job with a burr bit. It's not the greatest looking, <laughs> believe me. But it'll get the job done instead of being really narrow. Now it's uh, more like the size of the gasket now. So, and same with the intake. Um, I was just using this with a burr bit, really this one, because it's easier to cut down. Um, so now this uh, head's going to be bolted on. I think I'm going to put the header on and then put the head on. I don't know. We'll see. Because the uh, driver's side you had to put the head on and then put the header on because of how the dipstick tube goes in there. One thing about these headers is that trying to get the dipstick tube to go back onto like the stud here is a little bit of a pain because there's a flange there that didn't used to be there. So over here are just uh, lifters, push rods, my rocker arm assembly. I have to change this one out. I still have to take this one out. Which I can show you here in a moment. These are my head bolts. These are not the uh, stock head bolts. This is one of the stock ones. Um, there's a website out there. You'll probably either see it on your screen or in the description. If you look really closely there's a number on there. I don't know if we'll focus. It looks like it says 9.0. So this is like a 9.0 grade bolt. Can't really. It's not focusing, but that's what it says on here. This is a 10.9 grade. Got from a Caterpillar dealer. Um, the bolt is an M12 by. 1.75 by 90 centimeters. Now I have the washer on there because these are M12s by 1.75 by 87 centimeters because this has like a built-in washer into the head. So if you line up both these bolts with the washer pretty much right identical. It doesn't matter that the threads are up higher on this one or this one because it, it's not going to go up that high when it, you bolt it down. The reason I'm doing this is because like I said before this engine is going to get supercharged but if you go on the uh, there's a website that does v Ford V6 uh, power adders and stuff you'll probably see it on your screen now um, they sell head bolts that are either grade 12.9 or 10.9 but they wanted 90 bucks for 10.9 grade bolts which if you look at the picture there looks like just generic ones you can get at the hardware store that's why as you can see here your cat bolts but they uh, are fine. 
They are just the uh, same length, size, pitch, bolt, everything. Just the threads are not as long, but it doesn't matter. But I just got a washer on there. So technically, these bolts will not stretch. And technically, you can reuse them. So we'll see how that works out. I don't remember the part number washer offhand, but you'll probably see it on your screen momentarily. So, that's that. So now I'm going to go and put the, uh, probably put the header on this head, and then shove this head on the, on the engine, and then torque it down and everything, all that good stuff, and then be on my way. So, let me do that. Okay, so, <clears throat> put the lifters for this side in. They just slide right in there. Um, before I put them in there, I just real quickly sprayed some brake clean on the cam, make sure the cam was good. That's right in there. Um, once this head's on and the rockers are on, um, with the push rods on and everything, I'm going to drain the oil and take the filter off and put the plug back in when the oil's all drained and then I'm just going to fill the oil without the lower intake mount will fold on um, for a couple of reasons. One, I want to oil these lifters and rocker arms and everything because everything's dry up here and two, it'll just be easier just to dump it right in here because it's all going to go down to the pan but the main reason is, is I want to oil these uh, lifters and rocker arms and everything because up here there is no oil so now onto the head I had to break clean some of the head and wipe it off because there's some residue on there so it's nice and flat and shiny now um, I did put the header on just for the fact that it's easier when it's out of the vehicle Hopefully it won't be a problem. Spark plugs in there. As you can see, kind of weird that they're recessed in there a bit, but whatever. Um, now I'm going to go put this, set this on. Dowels have to go into these holes here. And right here, the dowels. As you can see, it's just need to set it on there, and then I'll put my bolts in and everything, torque the head down, and all that good stuff. So, when you put these head gaskets on, the kit I got from Felpro is a heavy duty head gasket kit. They actually label top front right there. See, top front. It's the same on this one over here. They'll say top front, so there's a left and a right head gasket, but the heads are identical on where they go. So, let me set the head down on there, and we're going to torque that thing. Okay, I got the head set on there. The bolts are torqued down halfway. Got it, uh, degree of them. Um, one thing about these heads from King Cylinder Heads... Um, they're very tight fit over the dowels, so I had to use two bolts in the dowel holes to get the head to actually sit flush on the, uh, the engine. And then after that, just put my bolts in, and I torqued them. You torque these, uh, heads in three stages, and in a bolt, see, uh, sequence bolt pattern, which hopefully you'll see on your screen. The first stage is like, uh, I put it at 25, but they're, the stages will be on your screen as well. But you torque them, go da 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 and, uh, and then the second stage is like 50-something foot-pounds, and then the set last stage you have to 90 degree them. Now, there is a tool, a degree tool, that you can use to do this. I guess properly would be the word. I don't have that, and I never really used one. This is what I do on a uh, six-point bolt. 
start at a corner and go one flat to another corner and then half of a flat in between two flats which I say is a flat and a half that's 90 degrees so I just use like paint marker or right now I'm using a white out which will be fine um, to do this as you can see a flat and a half is 90 degrees and I just basically put a breaker bar on this thing and turn it until that corner lines up with my mark on the cylinder head and then there it's degreed okay so changing out this rocker arm it's really quite simple you have to hit this pin out that's in this hole right here you just hit it out I used a small hammer and a, uh, what is this, a punch, 332 punch. Real simple. Just knock it out. The first uh, rocker arm, this is not it. First rocker arm will come sliding right off. These, however, are sort of pressed on there, so you do have to hold the shaft. I was just holding the, uh, <laughs> hold the shaft. I was just holding it in the air like this and then the hammer with my other hand knock this off so and then when you ha when this comes off basically the spring come off rocker arm can slide off and then basically over here I don't have to take anything off but that's how you get it off real quite simple so you just knock that out and then when you put the pin back in you put this clip back in as you can see the way it goes it goes in like this that's the whole rest rocker on right here so it's really quite simple just knock out that pin and you can get it out and you should be able to just hammer this off be no problem so I'm going to put this back together and then we're going to put it back on the engine Okay, so the oil's draining as I dump some spare oil down the valley there just to lubricate everything. Rocker shaft's torqued, which I believe is a uh, 42 to 55 foot-pounds. Don't remember. Um, exhaust is on. Everything's torqued here. One odd thing is uh, the spark plugs I took out of the old heads and then put in the new heads. It's not, it's something weird. It's, uh, if I have a running issue, it's almost like this head was made with the specs for the single overhead cam spark plugs because they're not fully in the combustion chamber when I put these in before I put the head on. So we'll see. But... What I'm doing now is a little bit of a home port job of the lower intake manifold. I was just uh, with my burr bit around here. As you can see, this side's not had it done yet. And then you come over here, a little bit bigger opening. And I'm using the uh, whiteout with the gasket on there to show me where I can uh, take off material. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then after, put this on and torque it down and put the rest of the top end together after the oil is done draining and everything. Okay, so lower intake's on. I got the valve covers on. Um, there's a specific bolt torque pattern for the lower intake. Um, the Felpro gaskets I got were only a gasket for basically the coolant passages and the uh, intake ports. But then they gave you some RTV to put all along two rails between the two heads on the block. And you want to make sure you want to put RTV in the uh, the crack where the head meets the uh, little 
uh, rail between the two heads are so no oil leaks out there but I put a lot of RTV on those rails and then when you put the valve covers on where the head meets the uh, lower intake you want to put a little bit of RTV there and then just tighten everything down okay so here's the end result the cooling system is bled it's running pretty good um, no leak training but it one thing that annoys me is uh, even with those new lifters when the thing warms up the lifter tick's still there and sometimes I think it's louder than it was before but I don't feel like ripping this thing back apart for anything to do with the lifters anymore because I, it's, to me it's really not worth it. It's running on all six and it's running good. So I'm just going to leave it. It's going to remain that way until the V8 gets in here because this engine is going to go by way. Bye bye. So there you have it. It's running, running good. No more using coolant. Been driving in a few days. And it's all done. And that number three spark plug is back to 54,000. And probably should never foul out again. So there's the uh, four liter all done. We're running. So that's it for this one. See you next time.